We begin with the latest on the aviation system meltdown. You are looking live at LAX. The good news for travelers this morning is that everything is mostly back to normal, but now the real work begins because we got to figure out how this happened and make sure it doesn't happen again. Allison Harris joins us live with more details from Washington, D.C. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, Mitch. For many Americans, this was seen as and experienced as yet another aviation meltdown. The Biden administration says top priority here is figuring out exactly what happened to cause a, a ground stop that's like we haven't seen since 9-11. Now, this morning, we're learning that the FAA pilot safety communication system called Notice to Air Missions went down when a corrupt file was found. The FAA tried to reboot it before the hours long outage at this hour. A statement from the FAA says it's still working diligently to further pinpoint the causes to prevent this kind of disruption from happening again. We're talking about uh, 1300 flight delays and more than uh, excuse me, 10,000 flight delays and more than 1,300 flight cancellations, and it could take days to get flight schedules back on track. President Biden has ordered an investigation into the outage as Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is facing mounting pressure amid another transportation meltdown. The FAA is right now without a permanent leader. Some do not think that the president's nominee that he put forward has enough experience and also FAA reauthorization and an investment in the uh, FAA is about to be up for discussion. Former Vice President Mike Pence spoke with our colleague over at the Hill, Brett Samuels, uh, about the need for investment in FAA systems. Well, the American people deserve answers about what happened. I, I was one of those passengers uh, uh, waiting at the Indianapolis airport to come to Washington, D.C. for the day. And uh, uh, we, we simply have to have confidence uh, that the FAA and that our public transportation system and our airways are operating with the highest and most efficient technology. And um, uh, I'm calling on the Biden administration and I'm calling on the Department of Transportation uh, to demand that our airlines have that technology. So, Allison, we heard from the president. It's not believe this outage was caused by a cyber attack. You mentioned a corrupt file. Uh, is it possible that right. terrorists or somebody put the corrupt file in there? Can terrorism or some sort of cyber attack be completely ruled out? Yeah, so the administration has not totally ruled that out, but it is important to say that they've said over and over again that there is no evidence of a cyber attack at this time. What is interesting, though, is Canada also had an outage of this same system, the Canadian style of it, yesterday. Uh, officials there in Canada say that they don't believe that this has anything to do with what happened here in the U.S., so I guess just a odd coincidence. Mitch? The oddest of coincidences. Uh, Allison Harris, thank right. you for that. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.